Hi, Phil Aston here from Taz Spinny Magazine. And this is an update on the CD revival. Um, you know I've done quite a few videos on CDs because I love the format. But as you can see behind me, I love all formats. And Taz Spinny Magazine is all about promoting physical music, no matter what format it's in. But I've always championed the CD because it's always the format that gets kicked all the time. And... Even though there are now things rolling out across the internet saying there is a CD revival beginning, people still find it very hard to talk about that subject without putting the boot in, uh, even if because they're worried about whether they look cool or not. Who knows? Um, but, I, but I just wanted to do an update um, because I know these are popular and give my thoughts on the latest kind of big names now now getting behind um, the CD story because obviously it, it helps with clicks and it's helping people sell whatever they're doing as well. So this is just interesting. So I'm just going to share my screen so I can bring up the ones that I've found most recently or people have, have sent in to me. So here we go. Um, the first one is was in the Guardian newspaper. And the headline was, uh, I'll just move my camera around a little bit so I can see better. They just worked. Reports of CD's demise inspires a wave of, dis of support. And it's great that The Guardian have actually spotted this. And then they, they talk about uh, people almost being embarrassed to have their CD CDs out on display and they were tucked away and or going to car boots in the garage. And now they're coming back and being you know, displayed proudly in the living rooms of, of music fans up and down the land. And that was a picture there of uh, a CD collection from 2008 when Spotify launched. So obviously trying to make a point, but a lot of people's rooms still look like that. Then there's obviously they go on about so the CDs aren't as sexy or as tactile or whatever. But the, the, the key thing is that as it says here in Wired, um, the, the guy here saying that his experiment in CD listening brought unexpected joys. He loved it. You know, CD, you just put it in, it does work, and it sounds great. You don't have to spend as much money on a preamp, an amp, on cleaning materials, whatever. You just, you know, you can get a great sound from a CD, uh, you know, very, very easily. Adele also helped in this. Um, and she sold 900,000 copies of her last album on CD. And obviously we have, um, you know, ABBA and Taylor Swift, etc. And, you know, the, whatever whatever you might think, uh, it says here that the Scene Jackson from Reckless Records, there's a market for everything. Vinyl, CDs, cassette tapes, formats go, formats go in and out of fashion, but music doesn't. Um, and then we have... This one from pitchfork.com is the CD revival an actual thing? And it kind of tries to get on board, um, but but um, and starts to say things like, Yeah, but you know, CD sales have only gone up by one percent. But as you go through the article, you start to see that they start to talk to lots of record shops and music outlets in America, and they're all saying that CD sales have gone up. CD sales have leaped by 37%, in, in, depending on, you know, in Discogs, for instance, in that first year of the pandemic. And again, that's a big market, but it's still a, a big second-hand market, but it shows the interest. You know, there are people buying, you know, buying CDs. And then the mainline shops in, in the States also, uh, there's one in here that's seen... Um, uh, shopping New England, Ball Moose saw sales of new and used CDs surge by 20% last year. And um, Amoeba Music also has seen CDs, you know, keep their hold in the market. So it's, it's you know, it's really, really good. And then we have NME, which almost I feel that um, the guy that wrote this um was told he got to write an article about CDs having a revival because although it says I'm on board with the CD revival, it, it might be the punkiest music format out there. And a lot of the article is kind of moves towards the fact that he can't believe how they can be cool or is this really going to happen? Um, you know, and it's they're not as um, groovy as, as as vinyl albums or whatever. But but nevertheless, it's a headline saying that the CD revival is here. But I, I think of all these enemies of music 
website um you know and they they want to they've got to stay edgy as well and you know pitchfork and guardian it's it's about getting a reaction so the the, the kind of ones that i trust the most are things like billboard and music week because they're just they're just trade papers um that they're not they're just going to they're just going to talk through stats they're not going to talk about anything else and um and this is why I wanted to just bring this one up. I'm just going to see if I can enlarge the screen a bit so you can see what I'm doing. Um, because this is the analysis for, for the UK. And um, But I just wanted to go down to where they talk about um, market trends. Now... The big thing is obviously streaming is massive. It's over 80, I think it's 80 to 82 percent of the market. People stream music. And for for the big record labels, you know, it's about 70 percent of that is catalog, as they call it. It's the big names. It's the Fleetwood Max and David Bowie's, you know, the, how they get, you know, how they push this stuff, um, you know, and they, you know, is, is massive income for the record labels. But. As you go through this, you start to realise that, yes, they're very excited about vinyl, but they're becoming more excited about CD. And there's two quotes I want to come up. Now, Charles Wood is from Sony Music, which is one of the biggest labels um, in the world. We need to give the CD format a bit more love and invest in it, just as we have done with vinyl. I know, and I think the fact that this is coming through now is is making a difference because they are seeing the sales and um the other thing i wanted to say here is and this is from linda walker and she's from warner brothers now warner brothers before christmas was saying they were going to make decisions on what they were going to do with cds in in 2022 well it looks like it's very very positive CD sales were down just 10.5% overall last year to 14.4 million, which suggests the format does have a future. And Linda says, I think the release stage of 2021 really helped support this mini revival. And it's clear that the CD remains an important format for both consumers and us. So I think that is really, really exciting. So I'm just going to bring my camera back. Oh, in fact, before I do that, Let's remember people like Cherry Red Records who are going from success to success to even bigger success. And they are 98% CD, CD box sets. You know, they are a fantastic label. And the CD, as far as they're concerned, they're in the middle of a CD boom. And, you know, I, um, I review a lot of their box sets um, um, so, you know, they're absolutely fantastic. Right. So I'll just go back to where I was going now, just for my end of summary. So the thing about the CD for and, and it for my job, how I see it, because I've collected music for so many years, I love so many different genres and so many different bands that obviously I, I can quite easily dip in and out of different eras but i think it's very important for for new bands and new artists you know it, it, it's so what i'm trying to say is that um when the record labels talk about catalog and billions of streams that's great if you're a well-known legacy act but if you're an, if you're a new act you know you need so many streams to earn enough money to buy a banana you know it's just ridiculous so the CD, if you've got, you know, you Bandcamp and, and everybody who loves music, check out Bandcamp, search for the kind of music you like. You can buy directly from the artist. Um, you know, Sarah McQuaid CD, I've promoted on this channel and reviewed it and quite a few people have bought it. It's a physical product. Um, Amanda Lehman, great, great album. Again, CD, great little booklet um, bought directly you know, from from the artist and the artist gets a huge chunk of that more than streaming. And for me personally, it, it goes on my shelf and I can play it. I can read the lyrics. And I know everyone says you can do that with vinyl. Of course you can. But 
the fact is, what I'm trying to say is that CD and vinyl live together. A good example would be Riverside. Love this band. Um, I bought this on vinyl and it also comes with the remastered CD in the same package. Makes sense, doesn't it? Um, this is called Notes from the Underground, Radical Music of the 21st Century. It's a little box set of four CDs and a massive booklet um, with lots of kind of classical jazz and music that was seemed to be kind of out on the edge when it first came out. There's no way that, that the market could support that in a vinyl set, but under a little box set, um, you know, it works really well. Gun Club, seven inch vinyl box set, absolutely put together with total love. And then as, as someone had just moving around my house today, I, I thought I'd play some Deep Purple. Just pick the CD off the shelf. Um, so what all these articles are missing the point at when they say there's a CD revival, there's a vinyl revival. You can call it that if you like, without trying to make people support different football teams. But what you're really seeing is the stabilisation of the physical music revival. You know, streaming is always going to be the biggest part of the pie. But what you're seeing is a resurgence in physical music being important to music fans. And as much as, you know, these are these articles where you're trying to say oh, it's about CD or vinyl's worth this much money against CD, you're missing the point. Music fans actually aren't that, they don't think like that. They just, you like a band, you, you start to love their music, you want to go and see them live, you want something to take home from the concert, that's more than likely going to be a CD. You get to know them, then you want to buy maybe their special release on vinyl, and it's just all part of the, you know, the, the same thing. And again, for artists, you know, you can see young artists now realising that they've got a connection. It isn't just about um, a CD. It could be there could be an art card in there, could be signed lyrics, um, a couple of photos put in the pack that's a special edition. And people will buy that and people want to support that. And I think since I've been running now Spinning Magazine, that's what I'm seeing is music fans want to be they want the connection we have social media now and it's so much easier now to have you know zoom calls and have deeper connections with your with your fan base um but a digital digital file is not the same and i think the other thing that we're seeing and why we're seeing um an increase in physical music sales and why this is important is you can become overwhelmed you can you've got access to the entire back catalogue of Pink Floyd in a second but is it going to mean as much with just tons of things to play through and just think do I like this or not than actually taking aside an album whether it's CD or vinyl and playing it all the way through you know, and, and, connect, and connecting to that because the, if there's one thing that is dying out it's the digital download no one's really talking about that. But if you look at the stats for those downloads, actually spending 99 cents or 99p on a track is just evaporating, you know, like water on a hot pavement on a summer's day. You know, it's just it has no value and people want to have value and meaning in their lives as, as, as the world moves faster and faster, you know, music gives you a chance, whether you're listening on vinyl to have a 20 minute pause where music becomes in the front of your vision of what you want to do or 40 to 60 minutes on a cd because the problem with streaming is i treat streaming as the radio and i go and discover music and then if i like it i buy it but the the real issue obviously apart from the fact that it's not paying the musicians and the artists enough money is the fact it makes music a background activity it's something you have on while you're doing something else it's like the it's like um, the brown sauce on your sausage full english breakfast in the uk it's not the main event <laughs> that that's the sausage um and 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 streaming makes music the condiment um whereas putting a cd on and putting an album on makes music the main event so the revival i feel is people wanting to have a tactile 
and deeper relationship with the music and they're doing that through both cds vinyl cassettes and as um as i said earlier the formats come in and out of fashion but music stays exactly where it is so thank you for watching thank you for subscribing thank you for sharing thank you for ringing that little bell and i shall see you on my next video Thank you.